Hi streamers, I'm BBXH bringing you another Stream Elements tutorial video. Today's video is on the new SE Pay option that Stream Elements offers. SE Pay is a way for you to receive tips via credit card, also being able to withdraw those tips directly to your bank account while paying the lowest fees on the market. Stream Elements also implemented an advanced chargeback protection program, the same that's used by large companies like Uber, Netflix, and Steam. Okay, so let's log into Stream Elements. Once you're logged in, you'll then be able to see the new SE Pay option under your revenue tab. If you don't see it under the tab, you're located in the United States, have a US bank account under your name, contact SE Support so they can enable it for you. You can also see it under the tipping settings tab as well. SE Pay is the best way to receive tips via credit card and lo local payment methods while paying the lowest fees on the market, which is guaranteed to you by Stream Elements. In order to start receiving tips, you must first create an account and provide basic information. After you do that, SE Pay will appear as another payment option on your tipping page and viewers can choose that way to tip you moving forward. There are a few requirements for using SE Pay. You do have to be at least 18 years old. You have to be currently located in the United States and have a US bank account under your name, the same name that you're going to put on the form we're going to fill out here in a moment. You can withdraw your tips to your bank account right now and we're working on adding additional payout options as well. So let's go ahead and create an account right here. Once again, you must have a US bank account under your name that needs to match the information that you're filling out on this form right here. Those of you streamers that operate your stream as a business, it does have a business account option, which you will see has a little bit different information that you'll need to fill out on the form. For tutorial purposes, I'm going to fill in individual and I'll type in sample information as well. But again, you will want to type in your information to match your bank account here. And for your birthday, you want to, of course, put in your correct birth date. Again, it's going to need to match the bank account, so you want to make sure it's accurate. And just a reminder, you do have to be at least 18 years old to fill this out. Under country of nationality, you'll see as I start to type in my information that it'll pull out a drop-down menu for me. Country of residence, as you see, has to be United States of America. Once we click Submit, then you'll see you will have an opportunity to review all of the information that you've entered. Look over it, make sure it's all correct before you click confirm. And after you do, boom, your account is set up and you're ready to start receiving tips. After the first tip is received, you'll be asked to submit additional information in order to withdraw that money. So I'm going to go through, do a sample tip and show you the next steps moving forward. All right, we're back on our home page where you can see now we have received a tip, hooray. So we can click on the SE Pay tab once again. This will bring up to the next form that we need to fill out in order to withdraw that balance. So you can see we can click set up withdrawal right now. It brings up another form for us. This is the next set of information that you need to fill out for that next set of the process to then withdraw the money. So you'll type in your social security number first. You'll type in your street address here. We'll type in sample street, sample town, city. We'll do hmm. Any of them. California. Why not? And our sample zip code, the United States, your phone number in there as well. After you fill out all of your information, you'll click next. Again, just like the previous form, review your information. Make sure it is correct before you click confirm. I'd also like to note that the personal details you typed in, including your social, are not saved by Stream Elements in any way. They're only used for verification by their payment processor. All right, so we're on our next form here. This is for your bank account information. You will fill out the form with all the information that matches you and your bank account. We'll do our sample information in here just to kind of show you what it's like to go through, to type in everything. Again, you'll type in your birthday, an additional time, just to make sure everything matches. Country, you'll see, has to be United States. Scrolling down, you'll type in the name of your banking ba branch. Swift code if you have one. Banking branch city, for me, I'm gonna do good old sample town. You'll see country and currency are grayed out because there is only one selection for each of those, United States of America and US dollars. You'll type in your routing number right here that matches your bank. Your bank account type, don't miss this one. You'll click checkings or savings and then type in your bank account information right here. We can click submit. 
That'll bring up all of the information we just typed in, go through, make sure everything is correct. If it is, click the confirm button. This will bring us up to the next screen here. It says great work, withdrawal setup completed and successful. You'll see well, after you click done that the withdrawal is grayed out, that is okay. The details do have to be verified again by that payment processor. And it usually happens in about seven days or so, and then you'll be up and running. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video. See you next time.